which is a best model fit measure for PLSSCM analysis. Originally, PLSSCM was used for predictions, but researchers want to use it to test theories. They developed measures to check how well a theoretical model fits real data. But earlier attempts like goodness of fit were not reliable. Another measure, standardized root mean square residual, that is SRMR, checks how well the model prediction matches real data. But it's unclear if it works well for PLSSCM. An alternate to, that is a root mean square residual covariance, RMS theta, which follows the same logic as SRMR but relies on covariance. And this also could not work well for PLSSCM. Dixter and Helsner created exact fit test to compare observed correlation with the model prediction. But it's not very effective for PLSSCM. Overall, these fit measures are not great for PLSSCM because it's more about making predictions than explaining things. They can lead researchers to prioritize a better fit over accurate predictions. So it's best not to rely on any model fit measure for PLSSCM. So for measurement of a model fit, we go for calculate in this PLSSCM algorithm. And if we start calculate, we have in the results model fit. These results are there, but we don't rely on them. Some researchers say that SRMR, if it is less than 0.08, it's a good fit. In this case, you can say we got 0.066, which is less than 0.08. But we don't need to specify or give any sort of model fit in the interpretation part.